Montana on a riding trip. And we had this song, it was unfinished, but we knew there was something special about it and we should finish it. Think of this, this lyric. Lord, oh Lord, you take me as I am. When I met with like your open hands. With I kind of had this idea, I'm like, what if we actually yeah. talked about race? Which is grace. That was a bit of a like, whoa, are we gonna go there? We kind of were just like, yep, yeah, this is the right thing to say. The song's definitely been on a journey. There's been so many lyric changes, things added, things taken away. With every change, the spirit of the song and what we wanted to say just kept, you know, becoming more potent. As I Am was honestly a crazy journey. We had been working on this song for maybe three years. The longer you take to finish a song, the more you second guess yourself and you second guess the song. There was a lot of that in As I Am. Your goodness and mercy remind me. Um, the team, uh, they're going to bring something really cool. It's a new Young and Free song, have I, have I got this right? It's a new Young and Free song, which is really cool and I love it. It's actually really cool. I remember the first time the guys were bringing some of their songs. It's called As I Am. As I Am. Take me as I am. And I was so nervous. I've been listening to this for a while, by the way. It's a really good melody. I can't wait for this. This is a moment that is about to go down. And I'm thinking these songs are going to go off. I had just like really hyped it up in my mind. I went on and I like did the song. I don't know what it was. Young people didn't get into it straight away. And I was just like feeling so discouraged. But I remember like looking up the team, kind of just giving them the thumbs up. It's great, like keep going. I'm like, I can't keep going. It's not great. Like she was so devastated with how, like, I don't know what, uh, I don't know if I can say this. But let's just say that the first time we ran as I am, someone stopped singing halfway. This moment is so awkward. Best Friends is a weird one. It was the roughest idea. We thought it was a cool song, but we were just like, I just don't know how this is going to work. Um, even lyrically and everything, it just felt like a risk. We've got to take these songs into youth and see that the youth love them, because that's the most important thing. The night that we had our annual Christmas bash, we decided to bring best friends. You might have seen some of the footage, or I'm sure it's going to flash right now. We were also pumped on best friends, but we're like, let's just try it and see if if they'll like it. Me and Aiden were super nervous. There was no plan about how we're going to bring it. I kind of got up there and I thought, you know, I'm going to get a bunch of guys up to do it with me because I don't want to do it myself. Hey, I need you guys just do a quick thing. Come here. He brought them onto the stage to kind of learn the song first in front of everybody else. Okay, we're gonna, I want to teach you guys um, the chorus of this next song, and then you guys can help me teach everybody else. Immediately, they grasped the song to be their song. When we wrote it, we just wanted a song that you could put your arms around your mates and go, like... And it's not about being cool, it's just about everybody singing it together. 
It was one of those cool moments where you just know this is something special, this is an anthem. I have never seen our youth ministry react the way they reacted. And we did it, you know, seven times that night at youth. Everything that we were going to do from that point on didn't feel like Aiden's song. It didn't feel like it was Melody's or Ben's or Laura's song. It felt like, hey, this is all of our songs. For whatever reason, God turns up at camps in a way that you just can't describe. We were really looking forward to bringing new songs to summer camp. Songs that would, you know, bring the powerful sense of God's presence. I was so confident in the plan, in having our recording at summer camp. away from our summer camp. Bushfires had broken out, covering the whole east coast of Australia. Yeah, from everything that we saw was happening on the news, it was clear that these were devastating bushfires. The safety of young people was the number one priority. We started having some serious conversations about making some changes. We didn't even know if we were going to have summer camp or where it was going to be. 